This is Holly Graham. Unfortunately, Holly has a tumor, but recent advancements in nanotechnology now allow nanoparticles to help patients like Holly. Let's explore how nanoparticles are formed and their purpose. To create the nanoparticle, large molecules called polymers and drug molecules are placed together in a reaction pool. After controlling chemical properties such as the pH value, the polymers wrap around the drug molecules and form the nanoparticle. The nanoparticle then undergoes surface modification to keep it from being absorbed by other cells in the immune system. The nanoparticle surface is covered with lipids and bioactive molecules called ligands. The ligands allow the nanoparticle to target specific tumor cells. The nanoparticles are then injected into the bloodstream. After being injected, the nanoparticles are affected by the large number of red blood cells on their way to the tumor. When the nanoparticles reach the tumor cells, the ligands interact with receptors on blood vessel walls. Large holes in these walls allow nanoparticles to penetrate the tumor. Once a nanoparticle arrives at the tumor cell, the ligands interact with receptors on the tumor cell walls. This allows endocytosis to occur and the nanoparticle can enter the cell. Within the tumor cell, an external trigger such as magnetic, optical, or an electrical field causes the nanoparticle to break up. The drug molecules are then released which kill the tumor cell. Taking a look at the bigger picture, nanotechnology has allowed for precise targeting of the tumor. This highly accurate medicine leads to a happier, healthier life for Holly.